What's up guys? Showing off a new kind of design. We did a like similar to Kraken 2.0, but instead of a Kraken went with a biohazard dial. We shifted it from where it would normally sit with that Kraken to opposite side. And now with this one, lasered out all your numbers all the way around, lasered out all the accents all the way around, and lasered out the symbol. So what is on my hand? It will not come off. Got it. All right. And then I backside loomed them. So I did some green. I did some orange. I did a little bit of a mix to kind of give it that radioactive feel. Had a set of uh, Mariner style hands that were done in uh, black and orange with your white loom. And they actually looked really good on this. And then that brought me into a... Uh, uh, an anodized um, minute insert in orange and it is this in a bead blasted case with a bead blasted small coin bezel did the uh, logo here on the crown stainless steel movement holder in there signed rotor and a low profile exhibition case back and then I had a uh, I had an orange strap from my buddy Jonathan Gillespie over at Wristbound that went with this so nice. It's just uh, a, a really good looking leather. So I thought it came together well. Uh, brushed, I'm sorry, not brushed, uh, bead blasted preview buckle as well. And then a little bit of the look of the loom on this. And drop it down here. So the second hand has a really nice long loom to it. Uh, long loom piece. And then I kind of mix it to where it's green, gets a little bit of orange. Now there's more orange, more orange, and then fades back out. So I just did it as distressed as possible. I did multiple passes with the loom, but where the loom mixed, it was fine. Where the loom didn't mix, it was fine, because that's kind of the look, is just to uh, just get whatever comes. So, hope you like it. It's uh, the case, if you scratch it, it will actually put a polish to it. It will, uh, it will kind of shine, so that just kind of goes with the theme of just you know I'm trying to get like a nice clean but distressed look so did a lot of distressing in the dial with brass ager um, and then I would push loom to where it came out the top then then sand it off push it back down in just to get it really mixed around so uh, I think it came out pretty awesome and hopefully one of you guys likes it as well. Um, bezel on it will turn left, it'll turn right. I might actually pop this off and try and get it on a little tighter. I did the other one, it took me like five minutes, so I had to use a different tension ring on there. But uh, pop this off, I'll get it on there a little bit tighter. But tension ring, it'll go left, it'll go right. It is, uh, it is not a click style bezel. Uh, automatic mechanical, so you can wind it, wear it, put it in a watch winder, but if it's dead or you're not very active, make sure you wind it just a little bit and that mixed with your rotor will keep your time throughout the day. How you do that is you back the crown off the threads until you hear it and feel it clicking. And at that point you can wind. And a wind is a turn this way. Turning it towards you doesn't do anything, but it's a lot easier to keep your finger spacing and just go back and forth. If you do that for four or five seconds before you put it on, even if you're not very active, that will keep time throughout the day. If you are not going to be active at all, driving, sitting at a desk, you can wind it for, you can wind it as long as you want, it doesn't hurt it. But 15, 20 seconds of it will max out your 31 hour power reserve on it. You cannot overwind it, so don't worry about that. When you're happy with your winding, you're going to pull it to the one and only click. And you can now set your time. It does not have a hacking movement, so it's going to keep going on you. You'll also notice you've got a wobble crown. This deflects lateral pressure from going into the stem and into the movement, so when you're pushing and prying on it, you're not putting any adverse pressure there. And the clutch system into the crown disengages when it's screwed in, so if you have any crown impact, it doesn't transfer into your keyless works, into your movement. 
Okay, Google, what time is it? good push it over get it out of that time setting wind it down and that is the build as of the rebuild it's going to come with matching beads we're able to get some good color in there so come in a brown bbw box you know what i'm sorry it will come in a brown um bio box i don't have an orange box i was like wait i do have an orange bbw box but um bio box would be a little bit more suitable. I just don't have them in orange. I've got one in black, but that doesn't really go. And I got one in yellow, but that goes with the next build I'm going to show off. So that's what it comes in. It comes in a brown one. Uh, it's going to come with watch cleaners. It's good on all glass and metal parts. Everything here in the center. Non-streaking, non-toxic, non-residue, along with your white microfiber. Also come with leather conditioner to keep that strap perfectly soft. If you ever feel that it's not, apply it on the front and back, let it soak in, use a rag, rub it in, work it in, and it will go back to being soft and pliable. And then lastly, some fine scratch remover from Amazon. Just repackage, it's Novus 2. It's for your acrylic glass. Uh, if you scratch it, use this along with your color matching microfiber and buff out the scratch. If the scratch is up and down, just go left and right on it filling that scratch, haze it, buff it out. Should be gone, if not, revisit it in 10, 15 minutes after that uh, has hardened and bonded. And uh, try it again, and you will have your glass good as new. That's the build. Like I said, if it's going to you, congrats. I hope you love it. I think it came out pretty awesome. And uh, if you want to continue to see videos like this, like and subscribe as I put them up all the time. Thanks, guys.